Wireless Charging Solution for Drones Why do phones and other gadgets have wireless charging, but drones don't? People at GET pondered this question, experimented with various solutions, and finally got something that can power drones without needing battery swaps or being plugged into an outlet. A wireless charging system can take the form of either a tower, topped with a hexagonal element, or a cluster of standalone columns. In both setups, the key component is a conductive cable that enables charging within a confined space. Drones simply need to fly into the area enclosed by the cable for charging to commence. The company claims that charging is swift, eliminating the need for drones to hover in one spot for hours. Since the system isn't made of delicate components, you can install it anywhere. It can handle temperatures ranging from minus 40 to plus 113 degrees Fahrenheit, as well as rain and snow. While this is indeed a novel and useful solution, it's not as simple as it seems. Charging any drone this way requires a special receiver module and energy converter to be installed on the unmanned aircraft. However, this is clearly a minor drawback for such a groundbreaking invention. Sigma-6 While vertical takeoff and landing transport may no longer be groundbreaking, incorporating such a vehicle into a sophisticated system introduces an entirely fresh perspective. According to ASX, their aircraft with vertical takeoff is essentially a transporter designed to carry a module, which serves as the second component of the system. The third element in this system is a robotic platform tasked with assisting in delivering the module to the aircraft at the right time and place and ensuring it's properly positioned for flight. The system works in a remarkable way. Each module can handle an impressive load of up to 2,000 pounds while accommodating six to eight passengers in the passenger variant. Also, the company plans for the module to carry a 400 kilowatt hour battery for the aircraft, enabling it to remain active during charging periods. The aircraft will fly at speeds of up to 248 miles per hour, ensuring that cargo or passengers reach their destination swiftly. In 2027, the company aims to build its own manufacturing plant capable of producing 500 units. We're hoping that ASX will pull through, providing us with a system to swiftly deliver packages from one doorstep to another. Windrunner In today's world, some of the largest components are wind turbine blades. Dealing with their logistics is a nightmare for everyone involved until the day that Radia Company's aircraft becomes a reality. Through the screen, it's hard to grasp the dimensions of this flying titan but they are truly impressive. It measures 354 feet in length and has a wingspan of 262 feet. With such large dimensions, the aircraft can carry quite a load. Its payload capacity reaches 72.5 tons, and the cargo hold volume extends to 290,000 cubic feet. And of course, for easier loading of gigantic wind turbine blades, Radia Company equipped its aircraft with a flip-top front. Another notable feature of the aircraft is its ability to take off and land on relatively short runways, typically around 5,900 feet in length. This is especially useful as full-fledged airports are often not available near wind farm areas. If Radius succeeds, the number of land-based wind turbines could significantly increase. This, as we all understand, could theoretically lead to an improvement in the environmental situation on our planet. To get a clearer idea of the dimensions of this flying monster, picture an American football field, which is just a couple of feet shorter than the length of the aircraft from Radia. The Sphere Humanity has never before created anything as monumental for entertainment as this structure. Soaring 364 feet high and stretching 515 feet wide, it dwarfs typical spherical buildings of comparable size. Adorning its surface is an expansive screen covering 580,000 square feet and adorned with 1.2 million LED pucks. Completely programmable, this marvel in Las Vegas dazzles spectators daily, offering a truly breathtaking sight, visible even from afar. It would be strange if the creators of the sphere settled for just an outer screen. Of course, they need to make a profit and provide people with even more thrills, 
so there's plenty to explore inside as well. Describing what you see there is hard, but even through the screen, it all appears truly breathtaking. You can experience incredible emotions thanks to a massive LED screen inside. It literally surrounds the audience, immersing them completely in a new adventure every time. Up to 20,000 people can witness the unforgettable show simultaneously, with 10,000 seats equipped with 4D technology featuring tactile systems and environmental effects. What if these spheres become a new trend in entertainment, gradually spreading worldwide? It all started in Las Vegas, and now with construction underway in London, it seems like Sphere Entertainment is just getting started. For $650,000, you can purchase a week-long advertisement on a blimp, and if a promotional campaign for a Spider-Man game looks scary, imagine what it would be like if the creators of a horror movie decided to advertise their creation in this way. Inflatable Walls Modular constructions are currently in high demand because they can be erected quickly enough. Naturally, the ability to quickly erect structures is achieved by using inflatable elements. Setting them up is a simple task. You just bring the deflated module to the desired location, then inflate it using a pump, and you're done. Unlike solid inflatable buildings, these modules are an excellent option for situations where you need to create a non-standard enclosure or structure. Building with these modules is also budget-friendly. This is because they use basic materials and don't require intricate labor or transportation. While this construction technology may not yet be ready to fully replace traditional building methods, it presents an excellent option for emergencies where a quick fence or shelter is needed. If we can find new combinations of materials that make fast erecting modules sturdy, there's little doubt that people would prefer them over traditional construction methods. Apollo Meet a robot from Aptronic with a sweet face and an awkward gait. Alongside its companions, it's set to relieve people from a variety of physically demanding tasks in the near future. Apollo is a humanoid robot, and you can easily tell by looking at it. It's basically just like an average person in terms of physical appearance, standing at 5 feet tall and weighing 160 pounds. The robot can even lift about the same weight as an average human, around 55 pounds. It's pretty obvious why robots with human-like abilities will soon take over simple tasks from us. They can lift, lower, place, and carry things without needing brakes all day long. All they need is a quick change or battery swap, and they're good to go again. Plus, you can even make a robot stationary if needed. Just plug it in and it'll work until it breaks or the power goes out. You can also swap out its legs for a more efficient mode of transportation like a trolley. From this video, it's pretty clear that robots aren't quite as fast as humans yet, but with technology advancing, it won't be long before Apollo is zipping around the factory at human speed without getting tired or needing a paycheck. By the way, during breaks between tasks, these robots can entertain you. Just make sure to not get too caught up in those dances, or neither the robots nor the humans will do any work. Mini Nuclear Reactor Nuclear power plants are the most efficient energy producers, so last energy's work is vital for humankind. What's really important is that the company is developing modular reactors. These can be assembled at a factory and then transported in parts to wherever they're needed. According to the company, thanks to their tech, it takes less than 24 months to ship out a reactor, depending on its size. That's a lot faster than the old school way of building them. The smallest and most space efficient option can generate up to 20 megawatts of electricity and around 80 megawatts of thermal energy. This means that within a short period and at a relatively low cost, you can provide power for a small community. Plus, the energy supply will be consistent, unlike wind turbines and solar panels. Does this count as a breakthrough? Well, it looks promising on paper and in videos, but in the real world, we're not quite sure yet. Still, there's a bit of confidence because the company has sealed four deals worth $19 billion, committing to build 34 reactors. Baobot. Meet a robot that can make the lives of countless construction workers easier by taking on simple yet exhausting tasks for them. 
To get the job done, the robot needs to move around. Instead of giving it two legs like most modern robots, the creators went with tank-like treads, similar to what you'd find on military vehicles. With these treads, it can drive at a top speed of two miles per hour, easily tackling obstacles. What makes Baobot an ace helper at the construction site is its multifunctional arm with a reach of 39 inches. You can load it up with various tools for tasks like milling, drilling, screwing, plasma cutting, welding, bricklaying, sanding, and painting surfaces, among many more. And if that's not enough, the robot can impress with another capability. It can carry up to 1,100 pounds of load and transport it effortlessly to the desired location. In order for the robotic construction assistant to do its job, you need to give it commands or control it directly using your smartphone. Printstones, the company behind it, plans to equip its robot with artificial intelligence in the future. Herbicide Gus In the future, farms won't need people anymore because robots will handle all the tasks. One of these robots will definitely be the weed exterminator with a fierce look. The Weed Buster by Gus Automation is a four-wheel drive vehicle with GPS, LiDAR, and an optical camera combined with a pre-programmed computer map of the fruit farm. Thanks to all these components, the robot navigates autonomously and does its work effectively. After mapping out the path it'll take to remove weeds, the robot lowers its side parts, which come with brush-like tools and sprayers at the center. These elements are responsible for spraying herbicide onto the weeds. And thanks to sensors, it only targets the necessary area leaving the beneficial crops unharmed. Ultimately, the robot relieves people of health-threatening tasks, performs several tasks, and applies herbicides precisely, which helps reduce costs. You can also repurpose the robotic assistant for spraying different liquids. Load Testing Water Bags the widespread adoption of these bags will definitely revolutionize the testing of lifting gear. The thing is, these bags are just way more affordable than other testing options such as using real building blocks. Additionally, these bags are incredibly versatile for testing purposes. They come in specific sizes and can be filled with water, increasing weight from 1 to 100 tons. Made from super tough PVC, you can trust they'll hold a massive amount of water. And of course, it's worth noting how easy they are to transport because they're lightweight without water and don't take up much space, you can fit multiple testing bags in a single vehicle. Epic Nowadays, talking to someone remotely feels just like they're right in front of you. The only difference is the person you're talking to is in a device made by Proto. Its dimensions measure 7.3 by 4.5 by 2.3 feet, making it much larger than your typical smartphones, tablets, regular TVs, and other devices we're used to for remote communication. Plus, it comes equipped with cameras, AI, speakers, and microphones. Altogether, this allows it to display people in full height and create the feeling that your conversation partner's right in front of you, rather than confined to a window on an app. Proto's devices are already being used in various exhibitions, meeting rooms, museums, and event spaces, enabling lifelike presentations without the need for physical presence. Right now, there are other companies making gadgets that create holograms, similar to the ones you see in movies. Progress is marching on, so before long, we might witness something akin to the holographic displays in Star Wars. And who knows, people might eventually link those holograms with AI, opening the door to some seriously mind-blowing stuff. PS6TM150 this device has the potential to completely revolutionize how people learn to operate any type of transportation. It might sound like a big claim, but it's totally legit. The gadget, which looks pretty simple, can mimic movement along three rotational axes, pitch, roll, and yaw, as well as along three translational axes, surge, sway, and heave. Because of this, the platform can replicate the motion of any vehicle as closely as possible to real-life experience. Let's say we're talking about using this device for driving simulation. With this device, learners can feel the loss of grip, traction, quick lane changes, speeding up, braking, bumps in the road, and much more, which you can't experience on other simulators. 
systems. And when it comes to helicopter piloting training, this gadget should replace existing alternatives because only with it can you fully experience the process of controlling an aircraft. There are numerous other potential uses for the device, but its primary focus is on teaching vehicle control as widespread adoption could lead to fewer accidents. Diving Bell Ship There's a fascinating vessel cruising along the Rhine River called the Karl Strat. What's amazing about it is this 226-foot-long ship lets people dive down to the bottom, like 33 feet deep without any gear. You can just stroll around down there in a t-shirt, flip-flop, shorts, barefoot, whatever floats your boat. This isn't magic, it's more like a system similar to diving bells. With this modern system, people can reach the bottom without any gear. It features an entrance gate, a channel with stairs, and a decompression chamber. Here's how it works. The ship sails to the designated spot, then the underwater research camera is lowered. After that, people can descend into it via a stairway. Inside the camera, there are special systems to breathe, stay warm, and simply be safe. A vessel like this, which allows diving to the bottom without any gear, can be used for various tasks. For instance, searching for lost cargo, inspecting or laying down infrastructure, collecting samples, or simply wowing tourists. Many are willing to pay a good amount to experience the bottom in such an unusual way. 